it do YouTube family and friends it's your boy trucker CB coming back with another video before we get started make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to this channel uh, just to support your boy I've been spitting out videos I do at least one good video a week however I'm making an exception for this week uh, I haven't really been you know dropping dope videos so I figured it out I'll come on here talk for a little bit um, and one of the reasons why I'm doing it is because I have a new delivery on my paperwork and uh, I get here, I guess I'm two or three hours early, so I get time, I'm gonna I'm spend a few minutes on this video, then I'm gonna lay down and uh, keep trying to reach these people at this distribution center. Uh, yeah, but it's snowing outside. I'm in Arkansas. And when I say it's snowing, it's snowing. So, a lot of you guys that's new out here, you're gonna ask, ask me, or you probably have a lot of questions about how to safely drive in snow, how to maneuver in snow, just how to stay in your lane in the snow. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, uh, it was very hard for me to stay in my lane on my way down here because you can't see the lines. You can't see the lines at all, this is about eight inches of snow uh, if not probably more but one of the things that I look for is other tire tracks on the road and that's hard if you know especially if you're driving at nighttime and there's not a lot of people that's on the roadways you don't have any tire tracks to go off of so you just have to try your best man and just drive first of all slow down and just go under the speed limit now I was driving, uh, I was going about, I said about 25 miles an hour and an Amazon truck flew past me and it upset, it upset me because he didn't have any tail lights on his trailer. He didn't have no clearance lights or any tail lights on his trailer and when he flew by me, all the residue from the snow from the ground from the snow just coming down off the sky, all of that flew in my way. I didn't have any visibility. And it was, it was one of those situations, if I could have cussed his ass out, I would have, but you know, let, there, you're gonna see a lot of that out here. There's gonna be a lot of people out here driving fast, driving reckless. And I'ma just keep it a buck with you guys. I have my times where I'm in a rush. We all, we're all human, we all make mistakes, man. Only reason why I was mad at him is because he actually put my life in jeopardy and I couldn't see a thing and you know you're just not expecting that on a, on a day like this where it's out here there's no way you need to be going 60 miles an hour 50 miles an hour on this, this type of con weather condition so uh, big ups to him he didn't wreck or anything I didn't see him after that so I'm guessing he made it to where he had to go uh, so if he can drive in it more power to him I took a week off work and this is my first day back after being gone for a whole week in the driver's seat for that long even just a couple of days or a week, you're kind of excited to get back in the groove of things. It's just, it feels kind of new and fresh to you after being gone only for a week. So I was taking my time as it was anyway, just enjoying being back on the road. Uh, as you guys know, I did move into my new house. So uh, I'm, I'm constantly thinking about my family uh, right now while I'm out in this weather, you know. But one thing about these companies, y'all, when you rush, this company was here before you became a truck driver, and they're gonna be here long after you're gone. They're mega carriers, man. They're, even these little companies only have 50 trucks, man. Those are multi-million dollar companies. They're gonna be here. So the point of you rushing is really no point in it because if you reckon something happens to you, they're gonna put somebody else on that route, you know? And you're gonna have to, have to face the consequences of your actions, and ain't no telling what your actions is. And the law, they actually, they bite down on us a lot harder than regular drivers just because we're, we are professional or we should be professional out here. And we're uh, operating 80,000 pounds of heavy machinery. So I would advise everyone, especially you new guys, to just slow down. And it's even at times where it's gonna be a lot of people dropping much faster than you, but them guys have way more years of experience. I take it, I will hope that they would driving as fast as they do. 
But yeah, the main thing that you want to do in the snow is just slow down, take your time, watch your mirrors, you know, just regular stuff, man, common sense to tell you there's no need to go 50, 60 miles an hour when you can't even see the lines on the road. Oh, and by the way, when I was pulling into this parking lot, I don't know if he's this far, but let me turn my windshield wipers on. Oh, you can't see it, but all the way over there is the entrance gate, uh, the main entrance. Well, it's a long driveway, but you have to pull up. Like, you have to make it right, and then it goes up a little bit, and then it's a long pathway leading up to the little intercom where they buzz you in. Well, I came to a stop because I've never been to this location. And if you've never been somewhere, you don't want to just pull up in the driveway because you don't know if you, you can turn around or if you're going to get stuck or you, you just don't have any idea what's ahead of you. So the first thing I do, or if, I, if I've never been to a location, I'll get out and I'll walk along that pathway just to make sure that the, the roadways are clear enough for me to, you know, clear with the 80,000 pound truck, you know, and make sure there's nothing, you know, uh, as far as my clearance or my height or anything. So I was doing that, but I ended up coming back to my truck and I put it in third gear because you always want to start out in the low gear when you're driving with weight on, weight on your truck or if it's bad conditions, you never want to go out in fifth gear because your wheels will start spinning and it's a disaster. But anyway, coming from a complete stop, I tried to turn up the hill and my truck just slid, you know, it's almost slid off the road. So I had to bag up like 10, 15 feet and then, you know, start off in third. That way my wheels can keep, can, can get going and I have enough power to get up that hill, you know? So you just want to be careful out here, take your time and but and I will tell you guys, the maneuvers I actually use in school, I use out here on the roadways. I don't know how or what school you guys went through to get your CDL. And I don't know what kind of maneuvers they taught you, but I can guarantee you 90% of the, the stuff that I learned in school is, is the stuff I use out here on the road today. Uh, so if you're in school right now and you're watching this video, make sure you're paying attention make sure you're doing your pre trips make sure you know that paperwork before you leave that school because if you just bull job just all the way through and you don't learn anything and you come out here you're going to be clueless on how to do a 90 degree alley doc like that stuff actually works man take it from me it took me two months to actually finish school but within that two months i learned everything that i needed to learn and i, I use 90 degree alley docs almost every day i'm out here uh, so just pay attention to what you're doing out here and by the way, like if you're driving down the roadways and say it's 35 miles an hour, you're going through residential because I had to go through an actual residential neighborhood to get to this location. You never want to be going to full speed. If it's 35, you always want to be going around 25. That's because you don't know if there's children out, children outside. There could be a school. I passed a school on the way down here especially if you don't know the roadways if you've never been on that road before you just want to slow down and make sure because you're once again you're driving an 80,000 pound truck and the height is 13.6 I mean it's a wide body like you just don't know what's ahead of you so just slow down uh, and that's my advice for you guys if you don't know how to drive and slow don't be afraid to pull over I've seen a lot of uh, trucks and cars pulled over on the side of the road because they didn't feel safe driving if you don't feel safe you don't have to move this truck uh, like I told you earlier, like the company, they they was here before you got here. They're going to be here when you go. Uh, but that's my piece of advice to you guys. I hope you guys drive safe out here. No load is more important than your life. Stop and think about what you're doing before you kill someone or yourself. Trucker CBs, I'm out. Peace. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.